going to look a lot like Netflix is starting to fuck up. So let's talk about Bright right now, right? Netflix's first big blockbuster, $90 million to make this thing. And uh, it should be a very interesting thing to talk about, right? So going into this thing, I heard it was going to be training day mixed with Lord of the Rings. And that sounds actually pretty interesting from the guy, you know, uh, that wrote Chronicle, Max Landis, and directed by David Ayer. Now, the thing about those two guys is that when you really look at their resume, they both are pretty much either are one uh, critically acclaimed for one thing they have done and pretty much a garbage of shit after that, or pretty much they have been doing a lot of the exact same thing since the beginning of their fucking careers. Now, if you can actually point who belongs to each category, then congratulations. Max Landis has been pretty much getting credit from Chronicle. That's it. Like, Dirk Gently pretty much is getting some praise. Great. But other than that, this dude's career, film-wise, has been pretty much shit. And David Ayer, don't even get me started on this dude. And I actually like Ayer, right? But if you look at this dude's fucking resume, this dude is literally, it's Mr. Remake. Like, since 2001, this dude has pretty much been doing the exact same thing over slightly varied but for the most part same thing over and over again since the fast and the furious training day hard time street kings fucking dark blue this and the watch like it's literally like the exact same thing i get it he is a white boy with some soul and he wants us to really know that he grew up in the streets of la but come on now david you're pretty much doing the exact same thing over and over again uh and that is no different when it comes to bright when it comes to bright bright pretty much is a movie that i like to say has a fantastic concept Right, something that's very interesting uh, to talk about. But when you see what the shit is actually happening on screen, you realize that this thing is not that interesting as the concept or the ideas that they are kind of presenting. Matter of fact, honestly, this movie seems like I'd rather listen to Max Landis's concepts and his ideas for what he would want in the future for two hours straight than actually watching this movie for two hours, just in general. Now, one of the main things I think you can say that's kind of a positive of this shit is just simply put the world building. Now, I think they do a good enough job of trying to set up the world at the very beginning. And I think they do it simple enough to the point where people can catch on. Uh, and they don't put on too much information. But then the information does start to pile up. And then you just start to realize this shit is getting kind of heavy. And then you start to kind of have that dumb look on your face like, my eyes are awake, but I don't know what I'm watching. And I don't know what the fuck you just said, but I'm going to think it's going to kind of cool because you're Will Smith or whatever it may be. But, you know, it is what it is. I feel like they give you a lot of information sometimes and sometimes it's good. Sometimes it seems like it's exposition uh, and sometimes it just seems like I could care less. And I think that's kind of the next thing is this that for positive is that Will Smith and Joe Eggerton, they actually work well together. This is a buddy cop thing first and foremost. Don't let it even, you know, try to be anything different. David Ayer, uh, I think does a good enough job of making Smith and Egerton have a conflict and then, you know, they come together and they work well together. And I think that's great. And I think the movie does a good enough job of talking about racial diversity and, you know, racism just in general and kind of making the orcs be, you know, minorities or black people, whatever you want to call it, and kind of reverse racism of sorts. And I think that actually is pretty good. Now, the problem is I feel like they have some interesting thoughts. Once again, ideas not really well executed. Interesting ideas or thoughts on racism and diversity, right? On that situation. But I feel like even the movie realizes that, you know what? Maybe we're not the best people to talk about this. So we're just going to kind of get to the shooting type of shit. It's almost like, because honestly, I will say this right now. Max Lanz and David Ayer, particularly Max Lanz because he wrote the script. I feel like it's not the right person to talk about racial diversity um, or, you know, whatever it may be. It's almost like the Kardashians pretty much telling you about birth control. It's almost, it was just... It's just stupid. Um, but overall, they kind of get that out the way. The action itself, I think it's fine. David Ayer knows how to do a good shootout. And the fantasy elements with the R rating actually works pretty decently well. I thought this movie was going to be a big clusterfuck of tones, uh, but it's not. I think Smith, Egerton, and everybody else kind of play the game straight. Um, and they don't really play for too many laughs. There are some in between, but for the most part, it actually does a decent enough job at... Uh, making you believe what you see on screen. Sometimes it's not necessarily the best thing, but it is what it is. Now, I will give also this thing, uh, it's props is that I think the makeup department actually deserves a big you know, bonus. I think they actually did a good job. The effects, uh, when it comes to some of the fan uh, you know, fantasy elements, uh, the makeup, the costume department, I think actually is probably the best part of this entire thing. And that's pretty much it. I think when you watch this movie, even if it has orcs you know, flying out of their asses, uh, this movie doesn't really do anything that different. I, like I said, I just feel like the ideas of orcs and humans is more interesting than what you actually see on screen. Overall, this is a fun enough movie as a buddy cop thing, but I just feel like it doesn't really do much of anything else. Uh, like, the idea, like I said, is great, but the, uh, the execution of everything is not really. The movie does feel a little bit long. I'm not talking about Last Jedi type of long, but it does feel 
pretty much long. Uh, it's not a waste of time unless, you know, you make it a waste of time. But there was a couple of times where I had to, like, get up and just kind of urge myself to get uh, going anywhere, really. Because it just seemed like it was not really going anywhere at the movie, personally. And overall, the movie, I feel like it does wrap up kind of predictably. Um, and that's kind of really it. I feel like David Ayer is just in that box that he's kind of comfortable in. Uh, even if he did dump a couple of orcs on your face and wands and wizards. And that's the thing. I think this movie tries to be straightforward in the world building. Um, and the movie just is simply put very simple. Uh, and I, not forgettable, but just simple. And sometimes simple can work and sometimes it can. But I feel like with a movie with this high of ambition that kind of falls flat on us, you know, orc in the face, um, it doesn't really do much of anything. But overall, like I said, Will Smith, Joel Eckerton, they work. The makeup looks well. And the concept is interesting enough to kind of get you through it. But at the end of the day, it's the same shit you've seen for David Ayer, and it's not really that clever. I do kind of find it a little bit funny that the movie called Bright is actually not really that great with ideas. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Comment, subscribe, and like. I'm Chris Smith, and I'm signing out. Really? I do. I want this to be my Star Wars.